Hello dear students, welcome to Corona Maths Academy. Today in this video, we are going to discuss one of the most important questions, which is asked in question number 24 in Pepson Secondary Examination Board in 2075 in province number 5. Dear students, this is the question from Circle Our Theorem. In question number 24, the question is in the adjoining figure of circle mn is parallel to pq mn is parallel to pq and we have to prove that chord pb is equal to chord qb we have to prove that chord pb is equal to chord qb so dear students let's solve it so at first let's write down given at first let us write down given in the given figure, we are given that Mn is parallel to PQ. Mn is given parallel to PQ. So we can write Mn parallel to PQ. Now we have to prove that. Now we have to prove that to prove. We have to prove chord PB is equal to chord PB is equal to chord QB. We have to prove that chord PB is equal to chord PB is equal to chord QB. We need a small construction join AC, which I have already joined in the figure join AC. So, dear students, at first we'll show the four points M, A, C, N, concyclic points. Dear students, in order to show the four points, concyclic points, we have to verify any one of the properties of circle. We know that angles in the same segment of a circle are equal. So, dear students, we are going to show two angles of A, C, and M equal. Dear students, we can take angle C A Q equal to angle C P Q which I have supposed as E and F. So let's write down E is equal to F at first in the short form so that it will be easy to understand. So distance angle E and angle F that means angle C A Q and angle C P Q we can write both equals because they are standing on the same arc P Q. So we can write angles in the same segment of circle. Angles in the same segment of a circle are equal. Or we can say angle E and angle F are subtended by the same arc CQ. So if two angles at the certain parents are standing on the same arc, then the two angles are equal. Now in the statement number two. In the statement number two, now we can write angle F is equal to angle G. This means the two lines MN and PQ. MN and PQ are given parallel. So if MN and PQ are parallel, then we can write angle F is equal to angle G. We can write angle F is equal to angle G. The reason is the reason is corresponding angles in MN parallel to PQ. Mn parallel to PQ. In the statement number three, so we can combine statement number one and two. So, dear students, we are going to show the four points A, C, and M concyclic points. So, if we combine the statement number one and two, the angle F of statement number one and the angle F of statement number two they represent the same angle they represent the same angle c p q so distance after combining statement one and two we get angle e is equal to angle g so in the third statement we can write e is equal to g so this is from statement one and two so after combining the statements one and two we get e is equal to g distance angle E and angle G we have got now equal which are 
on the same segment CN. Angle G means angle CMN and angle E means angle CAN. Distance angle CAN and CMN that means ENG. We have got equal in statement number 3. So which are on the same segment CN. So now we can say if the angles in the same segment are equal. If the angles in the same segment are equal then the points are conocyclic points. So in this statement number 4 we can write now. In this statement number 4 we can write the four points. The four points M, A, C, N are consecutive points. We can write M, A, C, N are consecutive points. The reason is from statement 3. Being angles in the same segment equal. So distance we have shown E is equal to G. Angle E is called angle G. Angle E means angle C, A, N. And angle G means angle C, M, N. So both the angles are on the same segment CN. They are subtended by the same segment CN. So if angles in the same segment are equal, then the points are conocyclic points, concyclic points. So students, now let's go in the statement number five. We can also write angle M A N, which I have supposed C. Now we can write in the statement number five, we can write C is equal to angle c is equal to angle c means angle m a n i have supposed c so that it will be easy to write and angle m c n which i have supposed d so dear students now we can write angle c is equal to d in the statement number five we can write c is equal to d because in the statement number four already we have got m a c n the four points m a c n m a c n are consecutive points so now we can write angle C is equal to angle D because C and D both are standing on the same segment MN. So again we can write angles in the same segment. So from statement 4, angles in the same segment of a circle. So M, A, C, N are concyclic points. That means we can construct a circle passing through the point M, A, C and N. So this means we have got angle C is called angle D. Now we have to show chord PB is called chord CD. So now we, we are going to make link angle C and angle D. We are going to make link with angle B and angle A because we have to show chord PB is called chord QB. So angle B is the angle which is obtained by called QB at the circumference and angle A is the angle which is obtained by the called PB at the circumference of the circle. So this means now in order to show A is equal to B we have to link angle A and B with angle C and D. So this means let's write on angle A is equal to angle D now. We can write angle A is equal to angle D because angle D means angle PCB and angle A means PQB. Both are standing on the same arc PB or we can say angle A and angle D are angles in the same segment of a circle. Angles in the same segment of circle. So now in a statement number 6, in the statement number 6, we can write angle A is equal to angle A is equal to angle D because they are the angles in the same segment of a circle. Angle D is obtained by the arc PB and angle A is also obtained by the arc PB. So angles in the same segment of a circle are equal. So in the statement number 6 we can write angle A is equal to angle D. So this means we have, we have got angle A is equal to angle D because they are angles in the same segment of circle. Now we are going to make link angle B with, with angle C because angle B and angle C both they are standing on the same arc QB. 
so let's write down angle b is equal to angle c because angle b and angle c both they are standing on the same are qb in this statement number seven we can write b is equal to c in this statement number five already we have got c and d are equal c and d are equal so by combining a statement five six and seven so if c and d are equal we can write a is equal to b number eight we can write a is equal to b in this statement number eight we can write a is equal to b the reason for statement number six and seven are angles in the angles in the same segment of a circle and the reason for statement number seven is also same angles in the angles in the same segment of a circle and the reason for statement number eight is from six and seven so by combining a statement six and seven so dear students, we have got angle A is equal to angle B. We have got angle A is equal to angle B. So angle A is subtended by the arc PB and angle B is subtended by the arc QB. So now we can write arc PB is equal to arc QB. Now in this statement number 9, we can write arc PB is equal to arc QB. So this means since angles A and B are equal, since angle A and angle B are equal, so if angle at the certain points are equal, then they cut off equal arcs. As we know that equal arcs subtain equal angles at the certain points of the circle. So we have got angle A is equal to angle B in a statement number 8. In this statement number 8, we have got A is equal to B. So now we can write their opposite arc their corresponding opposite arcs also equal so angle a is obtained by arc pb and angle b is obtained by arc qb angle a is obtained by arc pb and angle b is obtained by arc qb so we can add arc pb is equal to arc qb this means now in the last statement number 10 so the reason for statement number 9 is from statement 8 equal angles at the so equal angles at the circumference cut off equal arcs so simply we can write from a statement number eight equal angles at the circumference arcs obtained by equal angles as we can say arcs subtended by arcs subtended by equal angles So this means if angles at the surface are equal, then they cut off equal arcs. Or we can say they are subtended by equal arcs. Now in the statement number 10, we can write called PB is equal to called PB is equal to. In the statement number 10, we can write called PB is equal to called QB. This is from statement number 9. Equal arcs cut of equal curves we can write equal arcs equal arcs cut of cut of equal curves so this is the this is the solution of question number 24 so this means we have got the proof of the our theorem question number 24 which has been asked in Perhaps in 2075 in province number 5. So dear students, before we end this video, let's discuss the process we have followed to get the proof of the solution of question number 24. Dear students, in this question, we are given Mn parallel to PQ. Mn is given parallel to PQ. And we have to prove that called PB is equal to called QB. We have to prove that called PB is equal to called QB. So this means in order to prove, in order to get the solution of the given question number 24, at first we have to show the four points M, A, C and concycly points. Dear students, now the different angles we have supposed as A, B, C, D, E, F, G so that it will be easy and it will save the time to get the solution. 
So first we have to take construction join AC. Dear students, now we have to show first the four points M, A, C and concyclic points. Then we can link the angles of M, A, C and with the angles obtained by the chord PB and chord QB. Dear students, the chord PB subtains angle A which I have supposed A and chord QB subtains angle B at the surface of the circle. So our target is to show angle A is equal to angle B. So if we can show angle at the surface is equal then their corresponding arcs will be also equal and if the arcs are equal then they cut off equal curves. So we have to show angle A is equal to angle B. So first we have to start by showing the four points M, A, C and con concyclic points. Dear students, angle A which I have supposed E, angle C, A, Q I have supposed as angle E and angle C, P, Q I have supposed as F. So this means we can write angle E is equal to angle F because both the angles are obtained by the same arc. Angle E is equal to angle F. Then we can write angle F is equal to angle G because F and G are the corresponding angles in the pair lines M, N and P, Q. Then by combining a statement number 1 and 2 E is equal to F and F is equal to G the common angle F will cancel then we'll get E is equal to G. So dear students in this statement number 1 we have written E is equal to F E is equal to F E is equal to F angles in the same segment of a circle or we can say angle subtended angle at the same parents subtended by the same mark. Then F is equal to G we have taken the angle we have taken corresponding angles equal in parallel lines M N and P Q in the parallel lines M N and P Q. So after combining statement number one and two F F the common angle will cancel then we get E is equal to G. So this means angle E is equal to G we have shown equal by combining statement number one and two. So E and G they are subtended by they are standing on the same segment C N. So if angles in the same segment are equal E and G they are the angles in the same segment so if angles in the same segment are equal then the points are concyclic points so dear students now we can write AM, A, C, N are concyclic points AM, A, C, N are concyclic points from statement number 3 being angles in the same segment equal so after showing AM, A, C, N four points concyclic points now we can write angle C is called angle D. Dear students, angle C means angle M A N. We have supposed as C and D means angle M C N. So already we have shown four points concyclic points. So now we can take angle C is called D, which are also in the same segment. Angle A is obtained by M N, and angle D is also obtained by M N at the circumference. So dear students, we can write C is equal to D because only the four points are concyclic points. So angle C is equal to angle D. Angles in the same segment. Angles in the same segment of a circle. Dear students, now the angle C and D. Angle C and D will link with angle A and B. So we can write now angle A is equal to angle D. We can write angle A is equal to angle D in statement number 6. We can write angle A is equal to D. Because angle A is obtained by the arc PB and angle D is also obtained by the arc PB at the circumference of the circle. So A is equal to D we can write. A is equal to D in statement number 6. Similarly, now we can write angle B is equal to, we can write angle B is equal to, angle B is equal to angle C. Because angle B is obtained by the arc QB and angle C. Angle C is also obtained by the arc BC, BQ. So this means we can write angle B is equal to angle C. So this means, so we have got A is equal to, we have got A is equal to D and B is equal to C. Since C and D are already equal, so since C and D are equal, so after combining a statement of 5, 6 and 7, we can get A is equal to B because C and D are equal, RHS part are equal, so we can write A is equal to B. A is equal to B. So this means after showing A is equal to B, 
a is equal to b which, uh, which was our aim to show after showing a is equal to b angle a is obtained by the arc p b and angle b is obtained by the arc q b so if two angles at the surface are equal then we can take their corresponding arcs also equal that means now we can write arc q b is equal to arc p b distance when two arcs are equal then they cut off equal chords so we can write chord p b is equal to chord q b so thank you thanks for watching this video and if you have not subscribed our youtube channel called mass academy please subscribe it and also press the notification bell icon so that when new video is uploaded then you can easily get it and again we'll meet in the next video with a new content thank you